Okay, guys, stand by for crying out loud. It's men's fashion. Don't move. Don't get up. You need help. We brought in a gentleman who has a title that is extremely impressive. International architectural interior designer. But you're going to take care of our exterior today, aren't you? Yes, indeed. To the male's exterior today. Oscar de las Salas. What's wrong with guys? Why do they, why do they just seem to not care? I don't know. I think it's just there is a process here and it's, it's related to testosterone, if you ask me. <laughs> it's, like it's related to sports and testosterone. You cannot dress dapper as you look today. Excuse me. Oh, really? Thank you very much. Well, you know what? As, as a matter of fact, you can't get the full impact of the ensemble until you see the still picture that was taken shortly before. That is the dwarf model that we have here, uh, proving conclusively that a person with a 29 inch inseam can wear clothes. All right, now do a critique quickly. There's a gray pants. Quickly. Yeah. Really quickly. You do understand, of course, I know where you live. Oh, I'm South American, so All it right. will go forever. Oh, okay. But the, the bottom of the pants, the break is a little bit too long. Too much. A oh. little bit too much. Okay. So you don't want to look like you're dragging your pants. No, but I see guys in pictures of, uh, in the GQ, well, and there's more pants around their shoes than on their legs. Well, they fold them up because it's, just, it's the look. It's what the designer yeah. wants to show. All right, but the, but the corduroy top and the pink... And you, this is okay? Yeah, from today to tomorrow, Derby, you are on. Okay, so what I have to do is lengthen my legs oh. as opposed to going to the expense of changing my pants. That's a surgery to come. All right, sleeves should be a little bit. Well, you have the knuckle right here. That's, yeah. that's where your sleeve should die. That's where exactly your shirt should die. And then a little bit back is just the jacket. Talk okay. to your tailor. Do you have a tailor? Again, I see, yeah, but I see guys with jackets all the way down, halfway through their hands. It goes, if it goes all the way to the middle of your hand, it's too long. It has to be a little bit full, full back, and yeah. then pass your knuckle or your knuckle is right on your knuckle. Give, give us all uh, a suggestion about shoes. Yes, no. Well, uh, if you're going to wear sandals, have a pedicure. That's what I tell and all the no guys. And no socks. And uh, no, yeah, no, don't wear socks with sandals. That's that's for sure. And then try to wear this summer. Try to wear canvas, which is a material that breathes. And then if you wear leather, to be a soft leather, so you, you your feet basically have a little bit of air. You're looking good, Thank but you. not as good as the models are. Oh, they're young. Bring uh, these folks yeah. out here and describe what everybody is seeing across the state of Arizona, just watch the monitor and explain. Well, we have uh, right here Dalton. Dalton is wearing, this is the line for Ted Baker. Today I brought you guys something that I will call summer blues. It's all the hue of blues. He's wearing a, a nice polo shirt with a little detail uh, on the neckline and on, on his, um, uh, the neckline and the bottom of his arms basically. And then he's wearing a belt that matches um, his polo. And if you see, is the contrast is the bottom of the bottom portion of his body is blue. The, the, the I'm sorry, the top portion of his body is blue. The bottom of it is all gray. Why does a guy with a seven-inch waistline have to wear a belt for crying out loud? Well, it's just there's like I said, there's always the body is divided by the waist. So and like, next, next we have Austin, and Austin is showing us just this is an outfit to go out. Uh, instead of wearing a baseball a baseball hat, you can wear this beautiful kind of a cu Cuban inspired hat, which yeah, is made out of palm. But these are really hot, aren't they? Oh yeah, oh yeah. These, uh, yeah. These remember back in the '50s, they were used a lot of like when the tiki outfits and all the stuff were yeah. out. These are coming back. These are more like a Cuban look, and then is is that made out of palm? And he's wearing another tone blue and tone black, but then the bo the top of his body has a little bit imprint within the polo with the polo shirt. So what I'm trying to say is that. As males, we cannot afford too many details, but make sure that you have a detail or two. All right, and as we switch models, answer this question for me. Both of them had sunglasses, and our next model has, is that a fashion accoutrement? Non, serie. <laughs> that what happens here is that we live in Arizona. We have sun all the time, and I don't want people to get any type of cancer and cover their eyes which is a part of a healthy issue. We have just a few seconds left to describe mm -hmm. this outfit. Well, we have Eric here with an, an outfit to go out at night. It's too hot to wear a jacket during the summer. And Ted Baker has this very, very light material that allows you to have a full suit during the summer. And check out, his shirt has a print. 
So then he's, he has a little bit of a print of the shirt, which is a little a little soft element to him. And if he wasn't wearing suspenders, the pants would drop and everybody would know he was wearing Spanx. Listen, <laughs> how do we get in touch with Oscar with questions? You can go to www.whatwouldoscardo.com. What would Oscar do? Do. com. Well, if he's not doing anything at 8 o'clock in the morning, he's going to show up in the morning scramble, wouldn't you? Thank you.